am traumatized. Mm. They could come and kill four children here. Who is me? An eerie silence fell over the community of La Retreat Extension as residents quietly mourned the murders of 10-year-old Faith Peterkin, 14-year-old Ariana Peterkin, 17-year-old Shane Peterkin, and 19-year-old Tiffany Peterkin. Police said the siblings were shot by gunmen as they slept in their beds at around 12.25 a.m. When CNC3 News visited the neighborhood later that morning, emotional relatives of the murdered siblings firmly declined to comment and asked that reporters leave the property. Several residents who were still shaken from the murders also declined to speak on camera but expressed their concern over the murders of the siblings and the lack of police patrols in the neighborhood. Police soldiers and police are supposed to be looking for the murderers and them all now. That is unfair for all them children and them to dare. We know them from small babies so, and the next corn just so. They're hard for people in the neighborhood to do. Recalling the sound of gunfire earlier that morning, a resident told CNC3 News they hid in their homes too frightened to look outside. I hear anything like that when I see rocking, I frightened to death because when it borrows me happen. You hear me? That's not nice because them children and them remind them from small, we know them. Councillor for Blanchichere Santa Rosa, Roger Moore, visited the Peterkins to extend his condolences to them. The community is mourning and there will be a sense of fear. Um, I, I do ask the community to, to grieve with us. It, it, it's important that, uh, that we cry and we, we, we deal with the grief as a community. However, I am certain that the, the TTPS and the, the institutions share the responsibility to lend assistance to the community will come out and they will do the necessary to bring back the community in a, in a state of normalcy. Various police units were dispatched to the community and were seen canvassing the area as they continued their investigations into the murders. Head of the Northern Division, Senior Superintendent Kerwin Francis, spoke to CNC3 about their investigation this afternoon. I want to assure those family members and the wider community of Guanapo that the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service will spare no effort in conducting investigations into this matter using all available resources to bring to justice those responsible for this act. As the families of the Peterkin siblings continue to mourn their deaths, the entire neighborhood is traumatized and left to wonder if they could be next. Shane Superville, CNC3 News.